Chips, chips, challenge. He's got shoes for terrain. Do you like that? We're playing Chips Challenge. We're playing Chips Challenge. Julia won't stop talking about Chips Challenge <laughs> on every stream. Yeah. She will always mention Chips Challenge, and now it's <laughs> happening, and I have to, I have to be here. This is. I have to be here. The story of a girl. No, it's the story of a dude who loves shoes. Is this game? But also, it's just like. You know that, that thing that's going around on Twitter and it's like my childhood was here or whatever? Yeah. Uh, welcome. It's, this is just like a bookmark for my brain. This game is so ugly. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> this game is a hideous game. Chip's challenge was not to look appealing. I'll tell you that much. Nope. Chip, Chip doesn't care about that. Chip don't care about that. Chip only cares about, I guess, getting shoes. Shoes, shoes, and motherboards. It's chips, like computer chips. Oh, uh, why shoes then? Uh, because he's got to go through fucking lava, dog. The shoes How aren't is he gonna, gonna help walk you through lava? That. You need your lava shoes. How are you gonna swim? Flippies. You How are you gonna go through ice? Ice skates. You can swim without flippers. No, <laughs> not this guy. I do it all the time. Nah, dog. I've never used a Are you truly flipper. swimming unless you got your flippies? Yeah. We got subs. Do you want to do you want to read them? 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 Hey Jacob. We got subs. Do you want to read them? Tiny dragon dog. Just a little tea. Malicious machinations. Dracoy. Yes, girl cheesecake. Brighter than stardust. The wicked at rest. Matician James. Bones Boy, AMV Designs, Book Griffin, Faithless Destiny, Biscuit Quasar, Mike Eagle Dick gifted a tier one sub, Yes Girl Cheesecake gifted a tier one sub, Jenna Lumo subscribed, Yeetful Ginger, Hot Daimler, Sunlight Storms, Rosaline Likes, Hiku Mirin, Death to an Enema, Gave out five tier one subs. Truck 909 subscribed. Blue Blade Gwyn. Selnyam. Max Lynn gave out a tier one sub. Ollie Cat subscribed. Juju Magician. Demon Wise. All Drax. Okay, Hero. Bradinator. That one gay chemist gave out a tier one sub. Devil's Impulse gave out five. Mutant Miller. Wagon full of cupcake. Well, wagon full of pancakes, excuse me. Sweet beans gave out two tier one subs. Fire Smith gave out a tier one sub. Kyle Draws subscribed. Candria Celine, Cepheus, and Risengross. Thank you all for your subs and gifted subs. Plural, plural James, Bold Street. Thank you all. Now we have to stop for a while. I need water. <clears throat> we have to play the game now. Yeah. Julia's in a very good mood because we're playing Chips Challenge. I'm in a bad mood just because I decided to be today, I guess. So we're going to see if Chips Challenge can pull me out of my, my funk. Let me tell you, it won't. If it can bring me some sort of pleasure... In, in this prepare to be disappointed the year of our lord 2020 can i experience joy today nope it remains to be seen does chips challenge have audio i don't think so <laughs> it doesn't have audio <laughs> <laughs> nerdy chip mccallahan suddenly stops eating lunch melinda the mental marvel is sitting down next to him Melinda smiles. Chip, she says, if you finish the challenge, you can join our computer club, the Bitbusters. Chip has been a distant admirer of Melinda for a long time. Chip crunches his bag of pretzels and gulps, oh, I'll do it. I also want to say that I don't know if this game has audio because the last time I played this game, I was deaf. So it might. Well, it doesn't yet. In my brain, it doesn't. It's got a jaunty piano tune. 
Wait, you didn't turn on the, the speakers for everyone. You're this is not the chip I remember. To, you're gonna have to crank it. We're gonna have to crank it. This is not the, the chip I remember. Wait, I'll, I'll fix it for you. This is my chip. Oh, Jesus God. Oh my freaking <laughs> Lord. Why is it so, oh, it's horrible. What is this sound? Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that's horrid. <laughs> Where did my happy piano tune go? <laughs> Do you hear this bass line? <laughs> this bass line is just blasting <laughs> 16th notes constantly. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Who the actual fuck was the composer for this game? This is a crime. This is an auditory <laughs> crime. This is a panic attack. Wait, hold on. Just one second. Just one second. Move around with this one. What does it look like? Oh, look at, look at this nice fella. Look at this nice fella with the, uh, with this piano music. Look at this. Isn't this lovely? Boopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie-doopie
I think the person who made it, like, in a vacuum, made, like, six different tr music tracks, and then layered them all together without ever listening to it, and then just submitted it, and was like, this is the song. No, I didn't listen to it. But isn't this what math rock is, man? Just challenging no, the norms this isn't, of music? this isn't challenging the norms of music. This is challenging my insanity. Maybe this is the true Chips challenge. It just stopped and started again. <laughs> it just stopped and started again off beat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so where do I have to go now? <laughs> I don't have all the chips yet. All the chips are not on the table. That's the challenge. Where's the other, where's the other chip? Right in the middle of the screen. You're controlling him. Oh my god. I was the final piece of the puzzle. You were the chip oh, you needed all along. Yeah, there we go. It was underneath the blocks. Oh, but that one was a fire! Up. <laughs> Up. Oh, don't worry. We have to redo that whole segment. I genuinely did not know this game had music. I thought it was completely silent. Do you think you would have liked it as much if you had heard this song? Imagine you just getting your hearing and you boot up Chip's challenge <laughs> and this is what fucking greets your your fresh ears. Sonic was a lot for me already. The music of Sonic. I think this would have broken you. Yeah. I remember being okay with the parts of Sonic where you can't where you're underwater and you can't breathe and it's like that timer's going. Yeah. When I was a kid, I was like, this is fine. And then I got my hearing and I was like, I don't think I ever want to play Sonic again. Yeah, the sound of that part really is what makes it the most stressful. Remember the fire. I will remember the fire. Do not unleash the fire. Go, Bitbuster. Hell yeah. There's a fucking bug flying around my face. Oh, I saw him. He's over there now. This is an auditory nightmare. <laughs> I just want to see what this looks like on the other one. I'm so curious about this. That's not great either. I'm going to be honest with you. That's not great either. Ugh. That's a horrible to listen to. Let me just boost that for you, uh, chat, so you can hear it real good. This is this is terrible. You can't hear it. What am I hearing right now? It's the music of the game. Oh, it's just really quiet. Yeah. But the sound effects are wildly loud. But the sound effects aren't showing up on the speakers, I don't think. I don't... Wait, what's the custom theme? Okay, here we go. Skin, original, music, windows, effects, original yeah the worst of both worlds i ran out of time yes joy do you like this too oh my god hello joy Hey, young bloods that I've been playing Outer Wilds recently, and the soundtrack comparison is <laughs> nightmarish. <laughs> that game has such a beautiful soundtrack that's genuinely emotional. This is also emotional in some kind of way. But the emotion is bad. The emotion is bad, Joy, isn't it? 
It's really weird to have such a firm memory of this thing not having sound or music and now hearing it. Let's play it in Julia mode. We need custom, Windows skin, music none, effects none. Yeah. Windows effects. Now we're playing in Julia mode. Yeah. POV, you're Julia before she got her hearing and is playing Chip's Challenge. <laughs> Culture Hermit said, I want to learn bass now. <laughs> Just so you can play rapid 16th notes. Uh, yeah, this feels like childhood. Oh, now he's moving smoothly. Yeah, we had a uh, smoothing. We put smoothing on. Oh, that's way better. That's so much more pleasant to look at. New, New achievement. achievement. Wow. First five. Complete all levels between one and five. <laughs> your gayness said, I'm deaf in one ear, so I hope you know you're killing the one good ear I have. <laughs> I love how he slides now. Yeah. Okay, but... I I see a little bit of Chip's design in my own art today, which is kind of cracking me up. How? In what look way? Look at his little, look at how his eyes sideways. Oh, look at his little eyes. That is kind of Julia. This is how I draw kids. Right? Every kid you draw is Chip's challenge. It's like just a big head on like a normal adult body. Oh, joy. Joy. I got a good cat in my lap, y'all. She's kind of making some stinky farts or something, but. Why is she farting? What did she eat that she wasn't supposed to? I think she just farts sometimes, like humans do. And that's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, what the heck did that say? Blue walls may be fake. Some invisible walls never appear. There can be extra chips. Is that like a. A, is Chip having a crisis? Yowza! First time. There can be extra chips. You are not the only chip. Oh, the little spy guy! The spy guy I remember the most clearly from my time playing this game. And go flippin' figure. Look at him. Yeah. My whole life course has been uh, affected by Chip and his challenges. Wait, go back. I want to read what the question mark says. Oh, no. Okay, well, we'll go back. Oops. Ooh, I do miss that sound. What does the question mark say? Teleports can be directional. The thief takes your tools. New walls can appear under you? This you is heard like, him. is this poetry? I think this is a uh, haiku by Chip. I think if we took all of the instructions from this and put them in a book with like a flower on the front, we could make some money saying it's poetry. Yeah. Thief is Baba. <laughs> you did say we could make a haiku out of it instead of a haiku. Oh. Oh, I lost my shoes. We could make a volleyball anime out of this. We could. If we really tried. If you try hard enough. Oh, I'm just going to go die because the thief took my shoes. Looking at the conveyor belts is wildly unpleasant. <laughs> Are you saying this game is not pleasant? This game is not pleasant. Well, I need. Why is the thief just a head and shoulders? It's all you need. But Chip is really. a full boy and the shoes are so big. Give me that. He's going to take your shoes. There's nothing you can do to stop it now. I know. I'm going to go die. Every time. Oh, I'm going to go die. <laughs> Every time you pass this man, he take your shoes. Let me die. How long is the game? We're not going to play this game. What? The whole time. Why not? We're streaming. We're Look gonna, at it. We're going to switch to Slime Rancher probably very soon. Why? Because <laughs> multiple people in chat are saying this game is painful for them to look at because of the flashing and swirling. and Kids these days, they don't know good games when they see them. 
It's you're you're causing agony to our viewership. Play it the whole stream. Don't tempt me. Give me this. All right. They put this game on Steam for free, by the way. Yeah, if you want to play Chip and his challenge in your own time. But they did not see fit to add a full screen mode of any kind. That would uh, take the game in a whole different direction. What? What the fuck is that? What the fuck is you? Monsters are stopped by dirt and gravel. I wish. Look at him. This dude hates you. <laughs> hey, my dude. This dude hates you a lot. <clears throat> That's a pretty scary monster. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. He's a little, he's a little Venus flytrap. It is flesh lips. Nuts and bolts. Why are there flaming shuriken? Why not? God, those conveyor belts. They didn't have to make the animation so fast. Oops. <laughs> I think they did. They could have made it so much slower and it would not have been so hurtful to look at. Oh my God. I did it. Don't worry, everyone. I did it. Wow, she's doing it. You no. forgot to make it floor first. Yeah, I did. You fool. And you think you're going to get with Melinda. <laughs> Acting like this. You're right. I'll never get with Melinda this way. Oh, my God. Melinda is looking at you from outside the computer she's trapped you in. And she is not impressed. Yeah, like, what... What's going on here, do you think? Do you think like I'm I'm trapped in a computer or Yes. Melinda is a cybermancer. Mm. And she's inviting you to join her group of cybermancers. But only if you can escape her nefarious castle of traps. I like that. Melinda's a badass. And ass. rest assured, Chip feels every death acutely. Did you like that animation? That was pretty good. This, wah, 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 wah. this literally happens wah, 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 in Pokemon. Wah, 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 wah. Do you think Pokemon got it from Chip's challenge? Yeah. Everything's from Chip. Everything is we from Chip? We owe our lives to Chip. I don't know shit to Chip. Y the disrespect. Chip, Chip has Chip. done nothing. No! Chip has done nothing. I died. AKA Nicole, I've not listened to the new Sufjan album yet. Excuse me? But Julia has. So I don't have an opinion on it as of this as of this moment. Yeah, I'm usually the uh the person that's behind on music, but I've been waiting for this album for a while. I'm gonna listen to it. Believe you me. Right now, my opinion is it's very it's like a poppy version of Age of Odds. I'm into it, but I love Age of Odds so much that I'm viewing it as its, its own little thing. What? What? How far am I in Hades? I have not played for a while the Hades game I do love the Hades game but I got to get back to it I'm really considering um, picking it up on switch and starting over I did it someone wanted me to move the mouse I've moved it I'm proud of you I thought I had a key. Did you're I use the it true, already? You're the true chip challenge. Oh, blue key. Okay, I gotta press this. And then I go up. And then I press this, and then I get a yellow key. And then I gotta go down, and I go back up. Truck909 said, this is worse Undertale? 
This is original Undertale. Undertale looked at Chip's challenge and was like, I want to make a sequel. But different in every way. Yeah, that's what sequels are. Echo Shadow Bug said they put the music on in the background on YouTube. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I have to start over. Should we turn the music back on? People want it. Yeah. No, don't do it all. Don't do it all. Go back to custom. Because then we can keep the smooth scrolling. Oh, yeah. Leave the conveyor animation off. And then turn the music up. And click OK. It's not even the song. It's the damn joke ass circus song. I hate the person that made this music. It was uh, Hans Zimmer. The person that made this music is my enemy. An enemy to me and an enemy to mankind. Tell it to Hans. Oh, the conveyor belt's not moving is so nice. It's better on the eyes, I will yeah. say that. I feel like with this with, this is the optimum form of Chip's challenge. Smooth scrolling, conveyor animations off. Music a blastin'. Yeah. In your ear holes. This song supports gay clowns. <laughs> <laughs> For each loop of this song, one gay clown receives one dollar. This is a charity game. <laughs> it's not even a break before it starts again. Not even a moment of silence. Bup. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll pass this level. Hanninin said, catching my first stream live during a hellish <laughs> night of schoolwork. I hope this helps. This is definitely going to make you feel better about your hellish night of schoolwork. I think Jacob's going to break up with me after this. After this is the one. Stream. This is the stream. This is the last straw. It's the song. I can't believe that I feel like... Oh. <laughs> I keep making the same mistake! Oh. What were you gonna say? I can't believe that I feel like I missed the other song. <laughs> the really fast one. Yeah. All instruments just fucking go a song. This game has rearranged my perception so that a song that I hated, I now crave. As long as it makes this song stop playing. A lot of people subscribed before this uh, stream. And I would like to take this moment to say I'm sorry. And I don't know how to do refunds. Then you you know what you're paying for. Quality. You're paying for nonsense garbage. And that's what we'll give you. This is the run. I can feel it. Speed run strats. Okay, okay, here we go. This is the one, gamers. Do you go on the ice? Yeah. That doesn't even make sense. Oh my god. This is dangerous. <laughs> this is dangerous. That was your shot. That's not your shot. Oh! I stole it. This is a freaking nightmare, dude. Julia's on world record pace because no one else plays Chip's Challenge. <laughs> hey! Why are there bombs? Why not? Melinda's trying to kill you. I found it. Don't worry, guys, I found it. That was an incredible puzzle. Thanks. Oh, you gotta go back in the bug chamber. 
Yeah, I do. That's okay. But don't worry, they won't go on gravel. Do you take the bombs and blow up the blocks? Oh, you push the blocks. I remember uh -oh. that from being uh -oh. a kid. That one's done. You failed. You failed the puzzle already. There's nothing more we can do because <laughs> you put that one in a corner. <laughs> so no matter what Chip does, it's all futile now. Nothing Chip does means anything anymore. He must face the bomb. <laughs> Give Chip his freedom. <laughs> Release Chip. <laughs> Is there really nothing I can do about this? You put it in the corner. It's the only place you can't get a block out of. <laughs> That's kind of like saying fuck. Fuck. This is it. This is the run, guys. Oh my god, I can't believe we're watching this again. <laughs> yeah. Julia. <laughs> you can. No, you can't get it out of there. I can't. There's nothing you can do. Oh. <laughs> This is great. I'm having a great time. They made a whole game and they, they didn't think they could put a slightly longer song. No. Just a 30 second loop, that's all they could do. The gay clowns are so wealthy now. <laughs> The gay clowns have become one percenters. They used to be our heroes and now they are the villains. Round we go. Speedrun strats. Okay. Why don't you just go, you that's don't even have to go I'm, through the that's bugs. That's where I'm going, that's where I'm going. You never had to go. Why did that explode? No, we can't. We can't do this again. No, we have to end on the bass song. We can't do this again. Oh. Why did it explode? I don't know. They're sensitive bugs. Does the bug start going into that space immediately when the chip is gone? Oh, maybe. When the chips are down? And start it right back up, baby. Spin it up again. <laughs> We're not done yet. Encore. Oh Let's get it one God. more time. One more round. <laughs> one more round, gang. The band is sweating. This is one of those songs where, like, it's an auditory illusion. Like, it sounds like it's increasing in key every time it goes around. Like, it seems like it's always getting higher in your ears. She's done it. Yeah, they do go right into that spot as soon as you get the chip. All right, I'm not gonna fuck this up immediately. We gotta really think about where we're pushing these blocks. Let's really consider our options. Should I move this top one? I mean, yeah, that's what I would do. And then push the other one out. Yeah, but then this one's gonna get s stuck. No, it's not. Okay. I don't think. Will it? It might. 
No, you can still get it. Just, no, you can't. Yeah, you can. Then push that one up and then get that other one out of there. Got it. Melinda? Just for you, baby. We gotcha. This game is contingent on you playing this one frame at a time, so everything's very, like, touchy. Here we go. We're in. We're in, Melinda. We're in into like Melinda. What's the point of that block? I don't know. The only way you can push it is up. Is there a reason to do so? Oh! oh a chip! We've solved it. Okay, is there anything up here? No. So can I go back? Can I leave? Am I free? Can we hear the baseline song? Oh, we've done it. Do you hit the button? Push the block on the button? We're in. We're in. At last you did it. At last! At last you did it. Are we ready? Yeah. No, dude. Chip. <laughs> you can't do the same one again. You can't do the same song again. You have two. You have to swip. You have to swip between Chip them. Chip don't gotta do shit. You get in the cloud song. Why are you gonna play the same one twice in a row? If you have two only. What is happening in this room? Why are there so many campfires? Oh shit! That bug's gonna come get me. Good. <laughs> I welcome the bug. <laughs> this is like a, a chip is in hell. Yeah. What about it? Melinda sent chip to hell. Yeah. Ladies, am I right? This is literally like the oh. labyrinth. But instead of a minotaur, it's one bug. Yeah. And Chip's fragile ass constitution can't handle a single bug touch. We cannot touch the bug. That bug has got you, dude. That bug's got you dead to rights. I avoided the bug. Somehow. This sucks so bad. <laughs> I'm having a genuinely great time. Oh, I found the exit. Did you ever play Frog Fractions? No. We should play Frog Fractions. Am I gonna love it as much as I love Chip's Challenge? I mean, Frog Fractions is an incredible game. Chat is going nuts. They want to see Frog Fractions. Maybe we should play Frog Fractions after this. Yeah? Is it on something? Oh, it's on something. It's on Steam. Is it? Mm-hmm. I just ran out of time there. So we're... <laughs> Where am I going? Wait, hold on. Kill Chip and let me download Frog Fractions while you play Chip. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the I'm gonna go to the starting soon. Here, type in frog. The one Game of the Decade edition. Game of the Decade. probably download like instantaneously I imagine it's done all right Oop. all right we're back I just want to hear the bass song again
This song is literally gonna be in my head. Maybe for the rest of my life, which will probably be short. <laughs> I'm gonna follow the bug. Maybe the bug knows. The bug is privy to secret. I think the bug just follows like the inside of the wall, which technically would get you there. This bug is gonna murder you though. <laughs> You're not wrong. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is your last chance. No. And then you have to play Frog Fractions. No, I wanna. I wanna get to the bass song. Let me move the mouse again. There we go. Every loop of this song takes a year off your life. <laughs> <laughs> We're all already dead. Day. <laughs> Cerulean Char said, I genuinely do not know what is happening. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Julia made us do this. It was my choice. I chose Chip's challenge. We're trying to get a hot date with Melinda. And in order to get a date with Melinda, we have to solve Melinda's many challenges. A lot of which involve Chip dying. Multiple deaths, yeah. Melinda's a hard to get lady. And you gotta respect the hustle. Oh, finished, good work. After warming up on the first levels of the challenge, Chip is raring to go. This isn't so hard, he thinks. Oh, we're back, baby. You're scaring Joy, you're really scaring Joy. You scared Joy, she was getting ready to bolt. <laughs> Do not frighten Joy. Trinity. We are. The Matrix. We are Neo. <laughs> we are the one. Joy hated it. <laughs> There's 100 levels, apparently, of this game. Yeah, and we probably did like 50. <laughs> that abrupt stop and start <laughs> again, where it loses like half a beat, is so funny to me. <laughs> Shit, I went too far. Okay. <laughs> this song transcends, but not in a good way. <laughs> <laughs> what are you sniffing my hand for? <laughs> Over 1,000 people are here for Chip's gosh dang challenge, Jacob. Accept the challenge. Why are there- Accept the challenge into your life, Jacob. Why are there nearly 1,400 people watching Chip's <laughs> challenge right now? <laughs> Why have they not gone? I don't know. Why have they not gone away? I don't know why anyone is watching me play this. I'll be real with you. I have to be here, but they don't. <laughs> they don't have to be here. Oop. Oh, I hit the stealth bomber. The stealth bomber. Yeah. You know when you're on your computer and all of a sudden you get hit with a stealth bomber? Joy's. You already knocked the wooden peg out. Joy's playing with the wooden peg. <laughs> we like y'all, not necessarily the game. <laughs> Everyone just scrolling through Twitch looking for somebody, anybody playing Chip's Challenge. <laughs> I would be astonished if there was someone in this stream right now who had gone to Twitch and looked for Chip's Challenge to see if anyone was playing it. And Maybe they here. did, dog. That would blow my mind if somebody discovered us, not through YouTube, not through playing a popular game, but for playing Chip's Challenge. I do like his little swimming pose. It's very good. <laughs> not, not that, that one. one. Not that one, no. <laughs> uh, I have a yellow so I can ice skate. 
there's 450 people who are following Chip's challenge on Twitch. That's dope. Who are they? Who are you? We're the only people on Twitch playing Chip's <laughs> challenge right now. <laughs> We've cornered the market. That's yeah. why. Yeah. It's an untapped market. Do we have enough viewers watching us play Chip's Challenge that if you like scroll down on the browse page, it shows up way higher than it should? <laughs> <laughs> really ragged on Chip. No, I'm serious though. How far do we have to scroll down the browse page before Chip's Challenge shows up? <laughs> I want to start the Chips Challenge community. Yeah, speedrunning community? Yeah. <clears throat> Do it. I don't know where this other key is. is the, the next thing. highest view count for a Chips Challenge stream is 167 views. That's, you know what? Better than I expected. That's pretty good. Oh, there it is. How do I get there? I'm coming for you. I want to give this track to like a YouTube bassist and see if they can play Shit. it. I want to get Adam Neely on the line and send yeah. him the Chips Challenge song and say, can you play this bass line? The impossible bass line. You got the shoes. I got the shoes. We got the shoes. We got. Okay. Get Davey 504. <laughs> Somebody call Davey 504 and tell him that this is truly the impossible baseline. He can make one of those thumbnails that's like, they said this baseline was impossible. Go Bitbuster. And it'll be a picture of me and Julia. Joy's face is pretty indicative of your mood right now. I'm in a much better mood now. Chip's challenge has resurrected me. Oh my god! What is this? What does this represent? This decadence. And Melinda giving you all the, the clues, but none of the, you know, all the hints. She's dropping all the hints. Chip has gone mad with, with consumption. <gasps> oh, there's a monster. There's a monster and they, oh, there's they two are monsters. gonna get you. Oh no. This is a nightmare. How do I know that I have enough to progress? This is like in Spirited Away when there's all the free food, but when they eat it, they become pigs. Yeah. This is the chips challenge version of that. I'm going to become There's all these free Bill chips, Gates. but the more you get, the more pathway you open for the monsters. This sound also is very good. <laughs> it's like hardly even a sound. I feel like they could have made more of a sound. <laughs> I'd like to imagine that when Chip is walking towards us, he's he's like floating towards us. Like Yeah. <laughs> oh. I arrive. How do I know that I have enough? Do I need them all? Yeah, you have to get them all. My That's God. the challenge. The chips challenge. This is hellish. I do think this game is doing me harm. No, your mood has improved. Chips Challenge is the 111th game right now on Browse because of us. Think of all the video games there are. You know that streamer that made Among Us like really popular? We're gonna do that for Chips Challenge. We're gonna Challenge. do that for Chip. And now all of a sudden, Jacksepticeye is going to be playing Chip's Challenge. Yeah. Every stream. I hate this song. I don't know if I've made that clear. I love parts just like, no, 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 no. Sounds like it's yelling at me. 
no, 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 no. It is like sassing you. Right? It's a sassy little tune. It's a sassy little number. I'm faster than that uh, piranha plant knockoff. Oh. <laughs> he waits. <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, you're screwed. You're done. I'm not screwed. I'm not screwed. You're out of commission. Listen. I'm a little if, screwed. If you fail this one, can we stop playing chips? <laughs> genuine request for me to stop doing something that I've ever heard you say. <laughs> can we stop? I just don't think I can handle seeing this level a second time. Is all. <laughs> I think I'll, I'll be profoundly upset. <laughs> Jacob's at bargaining in the stages of grief. <laughs> Did I get everything over here? Okay, I think I did. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds like he's just really dryly eating them all. Like, Yowzer, first try! Bam! Chip! Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Mm-mm. 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 No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Goes with the music. You stop. What was the name of this level? South. You... You... You quit. You quit. <laughs> Don't do this. Stop doing this. Oh, I wound up... You gotta go wrong. south every time. I did go south. No, you went west one time. Okay, well, let's try it. If you truly go south, you cannot lose. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Chip's <laughs> challenge. Yowzer. <laughs> Yowzer, first try. We have to run ads. I'm going to run ads now. <laughs> We're going to run three minutes of ads. I think we've earned that. I've never had more fun making uh, over a thousand people very miserable. <laughs> I'm clicking the ad button. And then in three minutes, <laughs> Julia is going to play Frog Fractions. And we're all going to have a very good time. OK. <laughs> I was having a very good time, genuinely. I thought that was very fun. Oh, God. I feel it's like feverish. <laughs> I was genuinely having a good time. I feel so like the sound of silence is so beautiful. This is what I almost said Garth Brooks. <laughs> this is what Garfunkel and Simon. <laughs> this is what Garfunkel and Simon were singing about. <laughs> it was <too> <laughs> This is what Garfunkel and Simon met. <laughs> this is what Garth Brooks and Simon met. <laughs> I see now why they didn't go with that order of their names. It sounds a lot worse. Garfunkel and Simon sounds like a law firm. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does sound like oh a law firm. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm going to read a bunch of subs. That's How about maybe that? the most fun I've had doing a stream in a long time. Well, oh, you... Brian's been playing it. He played almost six hours. Oh, no, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh there's a God. lot of subs here. Uh, Kyle Draws, Candria Celine, Cepheus, Rising Gross, Plural James, Bold Street, Inspector Sassy Pants, Detendencies, Skeletal Pisces, Double Joe Seven, Wicked at Rest gave out five subs. Clockwork Koala, It's Spooky Kabuki, Gone Awry gave out 10 subs. Dang. Flatswood Mac, Miralik, Small Ham in a Big World, Captain Mustachio gifted a sub, Saucy Bannister, Germ Hotel, Anna Plays Video Games, Matramine, Flows 91, The Anxious Narwhals, Estes Andrew, Brave Othello, 
Uncle Iro Arms. No, Uncle Iron Arms. <laughs> I just immediately thought it was Uncle Iro. And Uncle Iro <sighs> does get thick arms. Yeah. Uh, Toasteress Targ Jim Q8. When we bought a Charmand Panda, Pistols O'Brien, E. Vasily, the Stone Vehicle, the Cranberry, mm, 50 Years Dungeon, Coven Corp, TI 80 Calculators, Suze Depart, Alicia Corvin, Dr. Carraway, Dr. Suze, Priestess, Priestess, Your Boy is Old, Mayo Rails, Alistair Wade, Silindigo, To Silver Glass, Full Metal Panda, Ral Halley, I'm Not a Duck, Sweet Beans 323, Lick the Cow Happy, I Want to Believe, Kung Fu Action Lemming, Thank You All. Wibble Dibbles. That was a lot of names. That was a lot of names. Thank you for reading them. Jesus Lord, save me. I feel crazy. <clears throat> Dexter the Rabbit said, I just got an ad for chips. Hell yeah. <laughs> that is genuinely the most fun I've had doing a stream in a very long time. I don't know what it says about you, but you truly have the most fun when someone else is miserable. But like miserable in a fun way. Yeah. But that is your happy place, is when you're doing something that's making someone else miserable in a fun way. Yeah. And to be fair... Because if it was genuinely making you unhappy, I would stop. Yeah, of course. Of course you would. But God, just seeing the whole chat wig out about <laughs> the gay clown song and then just the <sighs> manic bass line song. That bass line is like seriously burned into my brain. I feel like I could sleep for a thousand years. I really, I had a great time. Is it game time? It's game time, baby. The ads are done. Do this, do this. I'm gonna turn that back up because I assume this game won't be as loud as Chip's challenges <laughs> for no reason. What? Are you ready to play Frog Fractions Game of the Decade Edition? Is this going to test my math? No. Okay, good. <clears throat> it will test math. your perceptions. We might need to turn our actual computer volume up a little bit. Yeah, I'd say like 15 probably. Now this is a, a happy song. There's a note that's so low in oh, here. Oh, we gotta change the game title. That it's... On everything. <laughs> you just noticed what I put? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then the stream, yeah, you got it. Well, and definitely. Let's change this to the <laughs> title. Listen, I wasn't in a good mood at the start of the stream. I'm in a better mood now. Chip's challenge did make me feel better. That's good. I think it was so aggressive that it forced me out of my usual headspace. Yeah. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. All right. Frog fractions. Let's go. Yeah, we don't want viewers clicking the stream looking for Chip's Challenge. They'll be so disappointed. <laughs> Chip's Challenge is a good game. All right, you're going to want to um, eat those, eat all those bugs. And uh, uh, yeah. you want to get these fractions. Why? Because it's frog fractions. I don't understand. Where's Melinda? Okay, you got one point of indignity, so that's good. What? It's time to upgrade your frog. The, all these are too expensive. A I can't get a brain. cybernetic brain. What did that do? Oh, well now you have, uh, instead of fractions, you have these crazy decimals. What is this game? What is this game teaching me? Is this like a, a educational game? I mean, are you not learning? I can't see what the numbers are. And what, what do they correlate to, these numbers? It's fractions. Yeah, why, why are the fractions appearing? 
Well, you're a frog. What are the, the fractions indicative of? Time to get a new upgrade. Lock on targeting. Eyeball installed auto targeting HUD. Helps you make a glowy red list of bugs you hate. See, now you can target the bugs automatically. You're doing great, by the way. Thank you. I just, I want to know what's happening. I mean, I think it will all become clear as you play the game. It's part of the journey of Frog Fractions. Okay. Be sure to get the fruit when they're ripe, too. Oh. And don't forget the gifts. There's so much to look at. I got seven fruit, y'all. We can get turtle. Upgrade your leaf pad to a turtle friend. You can ride him over to grab fruit off to the side. Oh. <gasps> now you can use the arrow keys. Look at us now. Is that ready? Oh, good job. You gotta get that fruit when it's getting ready to drop, you know? You know how frogs love fruit? Yeah. And fractions. <laughs> and fractions. They see everything in fractions and math. Oh, that middle. Okay, oh. good, good, good. All right, tone. this is frog practice teaches typing, so you have to type the words. Uh -huh. Tone. Tenth. See, look at you. You're learning. On to. Hunt. The. None. Hoot. You're learning how to type. Hone. There's Neon. nothing that this game won't teach you. But what do the fractions have to do with anything? What am I learning about fractions? I'm just learning what fractions look like at this point. All right, time for upgrades. Okay, what do I got? I got a box cutter. Uninstall. Uh, that that uh, uninstalls the lock on targeting. The that's chicks stupid. Static cling tongue. Rub okay. the balloons against your tongue before extending it and nearby bugs will stick to one another. Science. Oh. Upgrade your fruit to durians. They smell awful, so the bugs will take longer to eat them. Mm. I feel like a good defense is a good defense. For anyone in chat who's confused about frog fractions, you just have to trust me about frog fractions. Know that I would never lead you astray. He might lead you astray. Oh, this one dropped. I got it, I got it, I got it. These bugs really want this fruit, is the thing. There's so many bugs! There's a lot of bugs and they really want it. <laughs> this is high level frog fractions play. Uh, welcome to my speedrunning uh, vid, Dio, uh, where I teach you how to speedrun frog fractions. Um, what you're gonna want to do is get the lock on, get the turtle. Oh my god, there's so much to look at! Stop touching my fruit! You're doing great. And also learning fractions. Hi, I'm Alice. not learning fractions is a thing. I don't understand what I'm looking at. All right, new upgrade. Static cling you tongue. Get that static cling tongue. How do I use it? Oh, like that, see. see? <gasps> this changes get things. Get in my gob. This changes things for the frog. I feel like this frog needs some competition because he is just stealing all the bugs in the neighborhood. You know Honestly, what I mean? Honestly, he hungry. But he could share some of the food, you know? Like, we all hungry. But we all need to get by. I'm genuinely. Oh, I just felt the tap. Yes, Miss Olive. I'm delighted with the amount of people in chat that are not familiar with Frog Fractions. I've never heard of this game before in my life. Hi, Olive. Whoa, you can eat so many. Olive. Hi, sweetie. Can I try some of your burp? It's basically gone. Oh. There's like one warm sip left. Mm. It's good, though. I think you'd like it. Yeah. Dragons available. Upgrade your turtle friend to a dragon friend. 
He will love his new dragon shape, I swear. That shell is just holding him back. Let's let him be what he wants to be. Now you can fly all around. What? Am I getting shot at? Yeah, you're gonna want to avoid the, the bullets. What? There's so many different effects going on that it's hurting my brain. The dragon body is like real 3D <laughs> rendered. Oh my god. You didn't tell me this was a bullet hell. <laughs> Jacob! Frog Fractions teaches typing. I can't switch that quickly. Descend. Oh, the words are getting harder. Annotate. Thus. Thus. Sunstone. Sunstone. Shun. I'm enjoying the fart noise that's happening. Sound. Statue. Statue. Sense. Sense. Honest. Nuns. Nuns. How did they expect me to get these fruits? I'm typing! Oh my god. Oh my god, Jacob. I mean, you're crushing it. You're gaming so well. Ugh. <laughs> oh, shit. Christ. And you're learning about fractions. I'm not. <laughs> you can say I'm learning about fractions all you want. The thing is, I don't know how fractions. You need to, I think, use the box cutter. Why? Because the chicks don't dig on cyborgs and it makes licking bugs less fun anyway. Okay. But you got to do some things for your frog, you know? It's not just for you. It's for the frog. I'm like not used to aiming now. Oh my God. I, there's literally so much to look at. You're get, doing a great job. Get in my mouth. You get in my mouth. What is that? Where'd that come from? That's, I, that's oh. the lock on targeting if you want to get it again because you miss it. Well, that feels like a waste. Try going uh, downwards. <gasps> My fruits. Just beyond view. Little did you know what lied just Fruit, below like you. Fruit, like a billion. Yes. Yes. <laughs> This is where they all fell. I was a rich frog. My dragon. I think that it's not going to go higher than like a billion. Up, up, and but away. But now you have like a billion, so think of the upgrades you can get. I don't even need to think about the fruit now. I can just focus on eating. And learning fractions. I missed the present. I can't, I don't know where my mouse is. There it is. <laughs> now you can get the warp drive. I'm ascending, mother. Mother, I'm ascending. Glad you could finally make it, Lieutenant Hop. We're dealing with a serious infestation here. Be careful around those asteroids. Don't let them push you around. Wow, I've never seen those bugs shoot at anyone but you. I think they might be racist. You're doing great, Lieutenant Frog. Don't forget to avoid bullets, Lieutenant Hop. There's Bug Mars now, their home planet. They're gonna regret messing with us. Do a barrel roll. Like this classic Star Fox. You clicked off the screen. You got rid of my chat. <laughs> You let the asteroids push you around. We said not to do that. <laughs> Julia, your shoulders are so hunched. <laughs> hey, what was that thing that just fell? 
Good flying with you, Lieutenant Hop. See you on the other side. Warning, no refuge. Be attitude for gains. There you go. Oh, hello. I wonder if the big guy over here has any tips about dealing with fractions. Look, the fraction of my brain that's still here. Destroy the core. You are under arrest. Thank you for your cooperation. I want to be under arrest. Mr. Hop, the charges against you are severe. You're accused of breaking and entering into our native habitat, Bug Mars, with intent to purloin our delicious space fruit. How do you plead? You're not really dressed for court. I'll be waiting on you when you get out. How do you plead? Oh, uh, okay. These charges carry a minimum sentence of 20 years hard labor, but there's a special offer this week. How'd you like to become a, a naturalized citizen of Bug Mars? Excellent. All you need to do is pass a test on the history and culture of this fine planet. Shall we begin? Our bug flag has four bug stripes. What do they represent? A little bit on the nose, isn't it? You can blame Bug Betsy Ross for that one. Next question. On the series Bug Jersey Shore, what is Bug Snooky's favorite flavor of ice cream? Weird, right? She developed a taste for it as a contestant on Bug Fear Factor. Four score and 20 bugs ago, Bug in Chief Bug Thomas Jefferson wrote in the Declaration of Bugs that we are blessed with which inalienable right? As the revered document says, the only right you'll ever need. During the War of Bug 1812, General Stonewall Bug Jackson held off the nefarious frog armada single-handedly. How many mecha frogs did he crush under the wheels of his Mercedes Bugs? Am I asleep? <laughs> Is that what's happened? Did I never wake up this morning? Am I still sleeping? How many mecha frogs? The very words he used. Last question, Mr. Hop. How do you feel about fractions? I know, right? Fractions. I'm impressed, Mr. Hop. Yours is the first perfect score our fake naturalization program has ever seen. We were going to fire you into the sun, but instead we've decided to issue you a work visa. If you'll just sign here. Everyone loves a novelty signature. Just ask Bug John Hancock. <laughs> Bug lover. <laughs> 69. Nice. Mars fractions are the best fractions. You're doing great, Julia. You're doing great at frog fractions. <laughs> That's a good dog. That is a good dog. PR department. This well-trained team of marketers ensured that the public has the correct impression of you. It costs 2,000 Zork mids, and you only have three Zork mids. I feel changed as a human being, having played this game. Frog Fractions teaches typing. Ugh. You're doing a great job typing these words. Dunk! Intended. No dunk intended. Handiness.
You don't have any Zork mids, that's the problem. Can you go down in this one? You never try to go down. I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> you didn't learn your lesson. I didn't learn. As conceived in 1632 by Portuguese printing press operator Andre Felipe, boxing was a gentleman's game in which two men would square off and regale each other with stories monotonous for days on end until one of them fell to the ground from boredom or exhaustion. Over the next few years, the new sport developed a respectable following of a few hundred local socialites. Is this the dude who did- is this the- the, uh, the dude in the pot? No. Game? But isn't the music nice? This is a lovely part of the game. Very cinematic. Can I eat this motherfucker? No. That's a blowfish. It was Felipe's son, Andre Felipe Felipe, who developed what he called the punching strategy in 1637, after seeing a schoolboy strike another in anger, causing him to fall down. When Andre Felipe Felipe challenged the then champion, British expatriate Sleepless Bill Bishop to a match, Bishop was the odds-on favorite. You can imagine his surprise when, while he was describing what he had had for breakfast that morning, Andre walked up and thumped him in the neck, <laughs> sending him down for the count in the parlance of our time. <laughs> Can you click on him or anything? No, he's just chilling. You've been in a coma for seven years. <laughs> That's what it feels like. I mean, I just thought that as a chat, we could all stand to learn a little about fractions today. We have to let Julia go. The crash wasn't her fault. universally agreed that the boy had violated the spirit of the game. Officials were unable to find any actual rule that punching violated, and were forced to let the victory stand. This upset caused an uproar in the boxing community large enough to spill over into local newspapers, which drew the interest of many outsiders to come see what all the fuss was about. The newcomers were enthralled to engage in these borderline barbaric displays of human strength and skill, and the rest is history. After a few sports sports school moms single minded about safety added the padded gloves, of course. Today's boxing enthusiasts fantasize about a newcomer that would rock the ring the way Felipe did. Calcification of the modern rule set has essentially locked the punching strategy into place, but it's easy to get caught up in the fantasy. Young scholars with big dreams often enter the ring with their crazy new trick usually a variant of hypnosis, and though they've achieved the occasional victory, none of the gimmicks have been robust enough to make it to the big time. You're doing great, Julia. <laughs> You've just been sitting here this whole time with this look on your face. <laughs> I expected a school, a school game about fractions. It is. And now I'm a frog riding a dragon while learning about the history of boxing. With Felipe Felipe. Andre Felipe Felipe. But isn't learning its own reward? The real wonder, though, is that Andre Felipe's original vision of boxing is still around. Gentlemen's boxing clubs can be found in cities all over the world. 
You can visit one most any day of the week and see two erudite gentlemen exchanging pleasantries in the ring. Most people only come to watch a few hours of a match and then leave. But every once in a while you'll find amongst your elders a stout fellow, a die-hard fan, who perhaps witnessed that historic battle between Felipe and Bishop, who for love of the sport must stay to witness the last glorious seconds of wakefulness slip away, only to return to fight again another day. Is that it? The rumbling seems to have stopped, and you feel the intense downward pressure let up. After a moment, you calm down enough to start taking in your surroundings for the first time since the seemingly dormant vessel sprang to life. Command Module The walls of this circular room curve to meet at a point that must correspond to the curved nose of the outer hull. Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. What next? <laughs> you can type help to get a list of commands. This is a story that you interact with by entering simple English commands. That was just an example. There's no juice in space. That was just an example. There are no phone booths in space. There are no wrenches in space. There's no juice in space. <laughs> Lining the walls, you see a porthole, a glowing display, and a control deck. A ladder leads aft. No, no pouring. There's no pouring you can do. There's no juice in space. Through the porthole, you can see a background of stars shifting as the ship gently spins. The constellations are all unfamiliar to you. Ask your parents about this space thing sometime. <laughs> See, this is why they taught you how to type earlier. It all comes back around. <laughs> Try examine display. A glowing green display shows a map of the galaxy with a destination you don't recognize marked and an ETA of about 3,000 years. Looking closer, you see two on-screen buttons labeled root details and new destination. The screen spills forth a slew of steps such as spiral spinward at Spathy system far faster than you can fathom. The nav computer dumps you into an interface so abstruse that before you even consciously process what's happening, you've hit the back button and are at the main map again. This is just your map. Remember there was a ladder too you could go to. You clamber across the ladder, captain's quarters. This looks like an all-purpose living area. A sleeping pod sits next to a nightstand. A ladder leads to the fore. An oriental rug lies in the center of the aft wall. What next? <laughs> There's no laying in space. <laughs> You can't safely sleep until you're confident you'll return to Bug Mars by the end of the trip. This decorative oriental rug sits in the center of the room. Looking at it more closely, it doesn't quite lay flat on the floor. There's a significant dip around the middle. You just examine the rug. <laughs> Moving the rug, you discover a recessed hatch below it. Your score has gone up by two-fifths of a point. <laughs> the 
You have to work it a bit, but after you give the wheel a few spins, the hatch pops open. Mm. You slip through the hatch, engine room. Nearly every surface in this room is covered with a sticky pink goop, which seems to be thicker near a gray machine sitting in the corner. A hole in the wall exposes a nest of wires. There is a hatch leading back to the captain's quarters to the fore. The machine consists of a spigot aimed at a flat platform. A handwritten sheet of paper has been hastily taped over the base of the platform. This is the out of order note included in your game package. <laughs> you have died. I'm trying to remember if the out of order note is uh, in the in the files somewhere. I think it might be in the files. Can you alt tab real quick? Back to Steam. I'm trying to remember if you can actually browse local files. Find it. Somewhere. Should I Google it? The chat might know. Are you Googling it? Yeah, I can Google it. You're swiping away various things. On I your was. Phone. I had many messages. OK, frog fractions out, out of order note. It's just a joke. There is no note. I couldn't remember if this game did one of those things where you had to go in your files or not. Yeah. Can you examine the goop? What else was in the room? Look around. Can you examine wires? Peering into the into the exposed machinery, you see what looks like an empty coffee can that you're guessing doesn't belong there. You twist the can and it eventually comes loose, but you've ripped the insulation off of an adjacent wire in the process and it begins sparking as it comes in contact with an adjacent strut. You glance down at what you've taken. Huh, it really is a coffee can. You try to pull the wire away from nearby components, but it returns to its natural position, touching the strut. <laughs> Julia, <laughs> you're doing a terrible job. <laughs> Can you put goop in the coffee can? People really want you to type a swear. You need to be, I don't understand what you want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that to a few friends. 
pick up goop. The goop is stuck to the surfaces. <laughs> you think it's going to know the verb pry? <laughs> I put shit and it says, man, you're telling me. <laughs> I'm going to find what we do. Okay. Um, you need to get the paper. You rip the note off, leaving a fluttering piece of electrical tape behind and revealing a control panel. You also need to get the tape. Now you need to put the tape on the wire don't lick anything put the tape on the wire you wrap the tape around the bare wire insulating it your score has gone up by one and two-thirds points now you need to put can on spigot how do you spell spigot g-o-t now you need to pull the lever Dispensing mom's specialty, the machine says. A thick stream of pink goop streams out. It mostly gets everywhere, but the coffee can does end up filled. You grab the can. A few drops land in your mouth, and you recognize the flavor. Bacon milkshake. Atmospheric anomaly detected, a different voice says. A whirring sound ensues, and the bulk of the goop is sucked into invisible vents, leaving just enough goop floating around to be gross and annoying. Atmosphere purified, the voice says triumphantly. Bacon milkshake, bacon milkshake. Now you milkshake. need to push button. The raised button clicks into place and the previously selected button pops up. Local currency, says a robotic voice. You need to say get Zork mids. Zork, Zork mids. Nope. Yep. Say Zork mids. We've done something wrong. Oh, pull, pull lever. The machine wears dispensing local currency, a voice says. A thick stream of Zork mids shoot out of the, the faucet, bounce off the flat platform and scatter around the room. You spend a few minutes gathering up the scattered Zork mids. Your score has gone up by a third of a point. Okay, now enter hatch. You practice your moves for a bit. Still got it. Put can in hole. You bring the can close to the hole, and the hole sucks the pink goop right in. The nearby gauge fills up. Open drawer. You open the drawer, revealing a thick manual. Read manual. It's a manual for the navigation computer in the command module. After leaping through it, you feel confident you understand how to use the interface well enough to set up a route back to Bug Mars. Enter ladder. Push button. Enter ladder. Sleep. We've done it. Who am I? Your tongue's too small. <laughs> Watch out, man. They're eating your fruit. You awake with a start. What a horrible dream. You call your friend, Draggy the Flying Dragon, just to talk to someone. Hello, Draggy says. I just had the worst nightmare. You explain the situation. I'm not sure that a support group for human bug eaters is really going to get much of a following, Draggy ponders. Maybe if we drummed up a little publicity first. I know, just the PR agency. Five minutes later, Draggy shows up at your door, dressed to the nines. He tosses a frog tuxedo at you. Put this on, babe. We're running for president. Hi, he, 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 ha. Candidate Hop, what say you to allegations that you are not a natural-born citizen, that you are under 35, and that you're a frog? You 
gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. She's really doing it. It's happening. Uh. The problem is it doesn't go to the beat at all, so just do it by visuals. Yeah, that's what I'm learning. She's doing it. She's a pro gamer. <laughs> they didn't count on you having played so many rhythm games. <laughs> uh, I played Step Mania. Oh man, you smoked him. You're a shoe in for president. Betsy Blue Bonnet. <laughs> Sir Clarence Gastropod. Ferdinand Croker. Flaps McQueen. Morag Hajelji. <laughs> and introducing Draggy Ceiling Eater as himself. Created by Twinbeard. Numerators and denominators. Frog fractions. Here's your bug coffee, Mr. President. Heavy on the cream. You're the president now. Bug economy manager. Weather report, sunny. Bug assets, 2 million Zork mids. Cost to produce bug porn, 10 million Zork mids per megabyte. How many megabytes of bug porn do you wish to make? <laughs> You've learned a lot about fractions now. It's time to put it to the test. How many? Put in a number. <laughs> Two thousand people are saying. The game is not going to severely punish you for anything you do, in case you haven't realized that. Unfortunately, you only have 2 million Zork mids, and that would require 20 million. How many pop-up banner ads, 15,000 Zork mids each, do you want to purchase? Don't worry, this interface is temporary. Bug software engineers are hard at work. Unfortunately, you have only zero Zork mids, and that would require 300,000. What price do you wish to charge for a megabyte of bug porn? This is what presidents do. Do it. Relax. Just be yourself. Day one results. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug breakbeat today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bug seemed unaware of porn today. Press space. You made 200 megabytes of bug porn at 10,000 a megabyte. You sold 13 megabytes of bug porn at 420 a megabyte. Budget 2 million. GDP 5,460. Profit minus a lot. I didn't know I was going to have to make ads. How many Zork mids do you want to order the bug Federal Reserve to print? Uh. 
That confident, huh? What upgrade would you like to install? You realize you could have put in any number. <laughs> Bug weather, thunderstorms. I d let's make none, and then let's just do a lot of ads. Let's make one bug porn. You're thinking about this way too hard. But yes, do that. You have like no money. You don't have enough money for a single ad. How much did it, how much, how much did it cost to make? Thanks, but uh, I'm into ladybugs. Juvenile bugs posing as health inspectors gave your product the thumbs up. Everybody wants to see. Bugs complained incessantly about your high prices. You made one megabyte of bug porn at $10,000 a megabyte. You sold zero. Oh, no. Press space. Now have the bug Federal Reserve print you a shit ton of money. More. Yes. I guess we'll let your successor worry about the inflation problem. Now we can get upgrades. Bug drugs? Drugging the water supply will pacify delinquent bugs, keeping them off the streets and out of trouble, and not coincidentally staying home and watching bug porn. We're in the bug porn business. Notice an outbreak of frog STDs and bug porn actors is driving production costs up. Bug economy manager. Weather report hot and dry. Bug assets. 98 million Zork mids. They cost 12,000 to make bug porn. Now we need some pop up ads. <clears throat> and we got to charge less so they'll buy it. That seems like a lot. Why are you looking at me? It's not you. It's my inability to distinguish you from prey. Day three results. Superb performances made today's bug porn too hot. The warehouse burned down. You made 500 megabytes of bug porn at 12,000. You sold zero. How many Zork mids do you want the Federal Reserve to print? Our business is, is doing amazingly. Meteorology. Oh, you didn't let me read the thing. I'm good at making bug porn. We got to read the descriptions of the things. They didn't buy any last time at that price. <laughs> We're going to try again. Well, I think it's because this is burned down. <laughs> the in-house bug porn musician decided to make Bug Big Band today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Bugs marveled at your low prices. Wow. And? Kept coming to your door long after you ran out of porn. Wow. We still lost a lot of money. I'm a genius of business. You're a genius of business. <laughs> We got so much money. CEO. Okay, the thing that we got before. A system of satellites to help your meteorologists provide more accurate and precise weather forecasts. That's all I can get. Unless you want the lock on targeting again. Well, I don't I don't really need it now, do I? Well no, but you know. How much bug porn are we going to make? Mm. 
1,000 bug porn. Let's up those prices. 20K. Impressive wingspan. <laughs> the bug porn sensors are working today. There will be no bug porn available at bug retail. The bug porn sensors bought all your bug porn at lunchtime. <laughs> Well, we still sold. I made a profit. We still sold. I made a profit. You've profited today. <laughs> Just guys. Bug printing press operators formed a union today. Their rates just went up. Good for them. 15k all right the cost is going up but we can stay ahead of it we have almost infinite money we gotta up the price 25k Relax. Just be yourself. The in-house bug porn musician decided to make bug easy listening today. Nobody's quite sure what to make of it. Ooh. We made a profit. Made a profit. Do you want to see what the next upgrade requires to buy when we get to that? Want to mouse over it? Not that one, the locked one. Oh, they're available. It's a padlock. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Very good. I don't think it matters what you do here. We just got to get these upgrades. <laughs> That's pretty clever, though. Thanks, but uh, I'm into ladybugs. presidential swimming pool this heated why won't you let me read the descriptions before you click <laughs> i'm sorry look at us now baby did i beat the game I don't remember if it's the actual end or not. <laughs> I don't think it is over. I'm being told by chat that it's not over. is incredible not as good as chip challenge baseline chip challenge who oh my goodness we just got demonetized this is the future that liberals want look at bug porn We all want the gay clowns back. <laughs> this has been a cursed stream. 
It truly has, Jacob. It truly has. It truly keeps going. Who knew so many people work on this game? <laughs> they have Stravinsky and Vivaldi in the credits. I'm sure they knew they were contributing to this game when they yeah. wrote those pieces. Why did we not get a queer mini emote? Because I haven't done it. What about that? I haven't done it because I'm tired all the time. I will do it though. Realistically, I just keep forgetting. I subbed during the stream. Yeah. When Queermit finally does come, it will be a day to celebrate. Congratulations, you finished Frog Fractions and are a certified Frog Fractioneer. But are you ready for the ultimate Frog Fractions experience? Buy the Hop's iconic Cap DLC and experience a day in the life of a frog wearing a hat. It'll feel as different as though you were playing an entirely different Frog Fractions game. We're not buying the hat DLC. <laughs> <laughs> I just I want to end you know how I want to end this Jacob or do you want to go back into chips challenge you know how I want to end this oh my god dude it's going to be so loud there it is. God. <laughs> it's too bad I can't control what song is playing. Because you know I want to go to the... If you just go one level ahead, it'll get you to the other song. <laughs> That's true. I don't know if we can if we can do it, though. If we can manage. You just want to hear the clown song. It's so loud. It's so... <laughs> It's so loud. <laughs> it's loud for us. It's loud for our audience. Blast your ears. It's fucking shit. It's loud for everyone. It's Chip's goddamn challenge. forgotten how to do the second level this isn't the second level oh did it, did it save your progress yeah oh my god can we can you turn the volume down <laughs> for who them the streams also it's been two hours it's been two hours we're done please close the game Julia, you have to close the game and switch to oh, webcam no. so we can talk to the people. Oh my god. 
I brain hurt. I love that game so much. I brain hurt. I had uh, good time. Someone in chat had said that they loved the stream, but can we also play Slime Rancher actually sometime soon? Yes. Yes, yes we, we can will. play Slime I'm Rancher. I'm sorry that I derailed Slime Rancher. I just thought about Frog Fractions and then I really no, it wanted was good. to I felt like... put Frog Fractions on. I thought it would be fun for everybody. It was a good segue. It felt like it had a similar vibe that make your brain hurt. Uh, but we will do it. We will play Slime Rancher again. This is the end of our stream. <laughs> Thank you for watching. We're streaming tomorrow on Droppy, tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. We're streaming tomorrow night on Droppy, 7 o'clock p.m. Please come and join. I'm going to draw. It's going to be great. That's it. That's it. Goodbye. Vote. Vote, y'all. Everybody vote. 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 Vote for frog president. Please vote. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye, friends.